So this video is going to be on uh, fall, falling teachers and how it happens and why they fall and can it still happen in today's age. Uh, so yes, definitely teachers can fall from grace. Um, I think one of the greatest uh, and best uh, teachers I recommend on this is uh, Dr. Hawkins and his work on fallen teachers. So essentially, um, as, a, as soon as one starts spiritual work, of course, temptations can happen. But as you become a spiritual teacher, um, uh, the, uh, one is beset by temptation even more uh, is beset with the temptation even more regularly, depending on how high you go. So there is a level when teachers become very popular uh, and start to have many followers that usually correlates with, uh, with all the research that's been done. I'm um, talking about kinesiologic research that's been done. Usually when teachers hit um, uh, the fringe just below 600, uh, that's when classically in Indian literature the cities start to occur and spectacular miraculous healings occur uh, and all kinds of miracles happen and usually the word of the teacher spreads and they have hundreds or even, you know, a uh, huge following. Uh, it's almost like, and at that point, because they're teaching truth, they're a huge threat to the collective dominion of the ego. So uh, at that point, even before that point, they're tested, just like everyone is tested to, to some extent. But at that point, they're, they're teachers of high truth and they have a huge following. So at that particular point, and also before as well, at any point it can happen, uh, there is a vicious testing. And in fact, uh, research has found that most of the teachers do fall. Most of the teachers, uh, a lot of the teachers, most of the teachers, are, a lot of the, you know, like um, uh, in the early days, they can be teaching lots of stuff like uh, you know, uh, love, being the observer, non-dual, and then suddenly it can be like, let's have a sex party here next week. Sex is holy. You know, and suddenly a uh, teacher can have 97 Rolls Royces parked in, in, the, in, in the backyard, you know. Uh, so, so uh, now this can be, now this can be a problem. Uh, because people, they've now developed a following and people religiously accept the teacher as having the word of God in everything they say. And it's very, very confusing because people have given their lives to these teachers. So when suddenly it becomes like, let's have a sex orgy and this is good, uh, the, uh, the level of naivety and the level, of, there isn't enough spiritual discernment in the students to recognize anything's gone wrong. And in fact, there's devotion to the teacher. So it's accepted that, okay, well, that's fine. You know, this is just the next level of the teaching. Uh, so um, so that, that can happen and people can be very disillusioned. It can create extreme trauma in people. Um, so, and this, you know, uh, this thing can happen, it still happen, can happen today, it's a thing of the human nature. As the, what was explained to me is that as the teachers um, get higher, it's like both psychically and in form, uh, as soon as the temptations, which are weaknesses in the chakras, are revealed, i.e. the teacher likes young women, or the teacher likes adulation, or it's just the traditional seven deadly sins, you know, uh, pride, adulation, uh, worship, uh, young women, sex. Um, so whatever it, whatever it is, um, then as soon as a mate, usually the major weakness will be tested constantly, because now that you're a thing, it'll be like uh, whatever the weakness is, there'll be constant attack. At, to try and get that teacher to fall. 
uh, and uh, a lot of them do. What are the safeguards? It's usually good if the teacher has a teacher and has some kind of mentor that they need to, that is overseeing them and can, uh, usually it's better to have a higher teacher which can explain, look, you know, uh, you know, this, you know, this is inappropriate, this is wrong, or, um, or even if they do make a mistake, to admit it. Mm. That we learn in the 12 steps. If you make a grave error, admit it straight away. Uh, and that, but if you make an error and you don't admit it, mm. uh, then uh, you know that means that you can't, you're not able to correct the fall because you have to keep the fall hidden. As soon as you fall, you know people can fall huge amounts. Often, if you do fall huge amounts, you're then sort of you know you're then orchestrated by the lower levels of consciousness, and so you can as you fall, you can fall further. You know, uh, and so this is a common thing. Um, yeah, if uh, often what happens in these situations is there is a lot of um, uh, uh, there can be a lot of things on the internet uh, around this type of thing. Uh, there can be a lot of questioning. Uh, maybe even people might say it's a cult. So all of these kinds of things happen. So I would just say to anyone listening to the video, you know, just to do your research or even with teachers you follow, I guess a way to see has a teacher fallen is just to, you know, just plug in to networks around, uh, around and, uh, uh, and just look, are there any signs of a fall from grace? Um, so, um, yeah, yeah, question. question. Yeah, yeah. So, when a guru falls, yes. what's going on inside their mind? Mm. Are they lying to other people or are they lying to themselves? Do they know consciously mm. that they have fallen and that they are showing a deception or are they deceiving themselves? Mm. I think both can happen. I think there can be a level of uh, being run by a low level of consciousness and going into denial and believing in the denial. Uh, as you're orchestrated by lower fields of consciousness, um, that is an aspect of, of there is an aspect of a denial that goes on automatically to protect what's going on. Mm -hmm. So there can be that. I think there can also. Uh, at the, at the at a certain levels, I think there can be denial. At certain levels, uh, there can be also acceptance. Uh, so, uh, even though I find uh, I find it hard, you know, to deny God has very severe ramifications. Uh, so, to knowingly do that mm -hmm. is to actually embrace the dark side. And so is to turn your back on God and refute God. And then if you refute God, <clears throat> and, and uh, then it would be in fact uh, embracing, embracing the satanic. So there would be, a, so that, that would be a, an extremely, uh, an extremely, I think on, the, on certain modest levels there can be denial. But I think, you know, obviously if you're uh, torturing people, uh, and stuff like that, that would have to be acceptance of the satanic. I think there would be, uh, that would be more or less uh, accepting. So the, uh, the heavenly realm, as you go up, you, you pledge your life more and more to God, to the divine, to the higher, and you release uh, layers of the ego. So your pathway as a spiritual student is to keep surrendering your ego to go to higher realms of light. So like St. Francis would be a servant. His role is to be a servant of truth. As you go down, at a certain point there is a very critical thing where you turn your back consciously on God. Uh, when you turn your back consciously on God, that has extreme karmic consequences. And therefore you're, you're open to the satanic, uh, the, the worst level of things. 
at a certain level, if you go low enough, if there's alcohol, drugs, or if you can go low enough, you can also get demonic possession. Uh, demonic possession... Uh, I actually, you know, I haven't heard much of actually what happens to the teachers, so I'm only making it up as to whether they go into denial or whether they're conscious of it, you know, like mm -hmm. I'm not sure I'm intuiting that yeah. are probably at some levels there can be denial, at certain levels I think it would be very hard even for denial to be operating. Uh, because, um, but, um, yeah, Was that answer the question? I think um, there's great consequences in turning your back and refuting that, and then you embrace, you embrace things consciously. Uh, I'd say the karmic consequences of doing that are extreme. I'd say um, the 12 steps, I think, is one of the best things having mentors, I think the 12 steps says, as soon as you make a mistake, admit it immediately. Uh, and then there is, you know, uh, there is a chance. If you've got a mentor, you know, uh, that's also a good thing to share with a mentor, you know, who can get you in track. Are you going, going into control? Are you going into power? Are you uh, seducing women? Uh, and talk it over. And what's the way out if you have been? Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, let me just think. So, for, for students or spiritual teachers, uh, I would say um, the ultimate truth is to go beyond the teacher. Uh, I would say um, uh, with dead teachers who have been recognized for a long time, like Jesus and Buddha, uh, Ramana, Krishna, you know, Hawkins is dead. So, um, and there hasn't been anything that's gone on, no sort of, you know, there hasn't been like hundreds of videos around Hawkins. So, or Jesus or Buddha. So, but I think while teachers are, I suppose if students are following life teachers, I think a various, a various amount of caution yeah, it's probably good. Um, so, because uh, living teachers can fall because they're still alive. So I guess, uh, I mean, in terms of can I give any recommendations, 100% uh, would be uh, living teachers, you have to be careful. Because while they're alive, you don't know, one day they could be good, the next day they can mm -hmm. fall. So, and as a spiritual student, how can you tell? Apart from looking at hallmarks, it's difficult. Uh, but I'd say there is one way you can tell with a living teacher 100%, and that would be muscle testing. So, whereas the ego, the ego can not be sure, not mature enough, or can be uncertain, uh, there is one way to check with living teachers, and that's to find somebody who can muscle test do the kinesiology thing, who's a good muscle tester uh, and, and just check, is the teacher you're following now? Uh, any student actually can try this at home with any teacher, but if you can do it, not everyone can do it, muscle testing, so if you find someone who can do it, got a good kinesiologist to go, here's a photo of my teacher, <clears throat> just, uh, can you just check, does this teacher make me go strong when you look at that picture? And if, the, if, the, if you go strong with the picture, then that probably teacher has not yet fallen. If you go weak, uh, looking at the photo, uh, uh, or just holding in mind, or just asking the question, is this current teacher is alive? Uh, is he an integrity, an authentic spiritual teacher? If the muscle test is strong, then they still haven't fallen. If you're testing them strong and then a week later you test them and they go weak, then that's the time uh, they fall. And so that's one way of doing it. So those would be, uh, those would be some of the cues. Any other questions? Yeah. Okay.